we um, transitioned really well. Uh, I think our transition, we got out and ran the floor. We finished in, uh, our layups. I thought we did a good job in that way. I thought um, our, we were a little bit more ready than in our scrimmage to play. I also was excited to see our post players run the floor, um, just be dominant inside. Defensively, I thought we did a great job. I think we held them to 28 points until maybe like into the fourth quarter. So I was excited about that too. Your leading scorers were all newcomers. Is that something that you expected or were you surprised by that? Um, I wasn't surprised. I am excited about that. Obviously, that's a great thing. Um, I did think that some of our returners um, maybe were more out of place than the newcomers because of just having to work together with new people. And so hopefully over this past week, we um, kind of have you know, meshed that out and we're ready to go on Monday. So Binta, she scored 21 points off the bench, but she only played for 13 minutes. So what about her ability to score in bunches? Yeah, well, she did a great job defensively to then create some shots down, down the stretch. She also ran the floor really well. Um, I thought she was extremely efficient around the rim, finishing shots, um, making sure she got good position for to receive the ball. Obviously, that's part of it. Um, but her ability to defend and then run the floor and get good position, I mean, it is just, it's special, and we're really excited about it. So Mia had a double-double. Is that the type of performance that you can expect from her any night? Yeah, I think Mia plays very physically. Uh, I think she understands basketball and is aware of where to go and how to crash for rebounds. So we were really excited to see that. Our team in general had 54 rebounds. That's mm -hmm. great. Um, but then we knew that Mia um, can shoot the ball, uh, can shoot the three, can put the ball on the ground. She draws fouls really well. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, the only thing was we had a, a few with too many tur turnovers and our free throws weren't great. So hopefully we'll, we'll fix that. Looking forward to FP, what challenges do they pose and what do you have to do to be successful? Um, they're a scrappy team. I think Tim does a great job. Uh, they are going to come in and really probably amp up the pressure full court. Uh, they, they have good movement in their offense. Um, sometimes they're, they're not going to be as tall as us, but they, they sure play hard. And so we're going to have to be ready for that. Um, the main thing that's different is definitely the speed of the game. It's in junior college, it's very physical in the same way, um, but I think it's a lot more structured and you just have to know where to be, um, the right position to be at at a given time. And just like the speed overall is just very, the pace is much quicker. So you had 21 points, but you also led the team in steals. What pride do you take in your defense? Um, I take great pride in it. Um, I've, tried, I've been trying to work on that, um, just being in the right position, being able to help my teammates if there's ever anybody that gets beat and stuff like that. So I think it's just a system that works if everybody's in the right position. And how has the chemistry developed on offense? On offense, um, I think our chemistry is pretty great right now. Um, we've had a lot of time here to like, get to learn each other's style of play and everything. So the chemistry is something that comes naturally now. And what were some takeaways about your performance that you want to do differently or do better in the next game? Um, in the next game, I definitely want to um, just rebounding. I want to focus on rebounding for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I know I am, I am able to score if I'm getting in the right position, but I definitely want to focus on rebounding.